Speaking of blue, yes. <laughs> me and my alien juice. <laughs> hey! Soul sister. We didn't, we didn't say hello. Remember? That was really loud. Remember? Remember that song, Abadi Blue Baba Badai? We, did we speak about this in the last um, episode? Yes, I think we oh, did. Yeah. About Baby Rex. So I hope you all done your homework and you went and listened to that song, the new yeah. one, not the old one, because everyone's heard the old one. Um, well, it's kind of like Friday, isn't it? Bye. I feel like everyone's just heard it. But yes, the new one. I hope you've done your homework. Hello and did welcome like back to more Game of Thrones. I thought this was a podcast. If you'd like a podcast, let us know. We're back with more we Game of Thrones. Podcast. Can you... Focus on me. Focus on me. Oh, you're going to blink way before I do. I didn't know this was a contest! <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> Wasn't fair. Episode 5, Season 3. This is the third episode that we have recorded this week. Depends though, doesn't it? Don't even say. Because it's Sunday today. Mm-hmm. My calendar starts this week on Sundays. No, on Mondays. Why are you ruining it? We're being consistent. We could say that we've been recording two weeks in a row now. Two weeks in a row. Which now. is I, you know. But it, listen, we're doing good. We're doing we're good. Doing, High five. Yes, we're doing consistency. Good. We missed you guys. It's been really nice to read your comments. What do you mean? Well, I guess I've got comments. I was going to say we don't even interact with them. I talk to this black thing here. That's a lie. I like some of their comments. I've seen that, actually. Yeah, I, I do. I give comments. you guys the love. I so, used to look at all the comments, but I'm, I'm spooked, man. I'm scared that someone's going to spoil. I'm waiting so, on the spoilers. Yeah, so we do tend to kind of stay out so that our reactions are as authentic as possible. Genuine, authentic reactions. Because reactors get a bad rep, you guys. Oh, they're fucking shite, man. Some people's I don't know reactions, watches reactions... Like, some of them are really over the top and fake, and you can just kind of tell. <laughs> I can't insert, deal with that. Insert my Kakashi video I know. here. <laughs> I will. Oh, God. Like that got memed by so many people as like the fakest react like reaction ever, and it wasn't though. Uh, oh, she. F- I was genuinely like I just lost my dad or something like she that. She like, cries to everything. I'm a bit of a. Yeah, but yeah. then you might say that I'm a fake crier. No, you're not though. But no, you're I'm just not. really empathetic. She'll be watching. It. Doesn't matter what. We're, watch fucking grand designs, and it'll be like, "Here's the new house," and she'll be like, "Who is the new house?" I am like that. <laughs> I don't know why. The dog in episode two of Game of Thrones, you guys, yeah. still not over it. I was like, How do you know I'm guys? I think that's about rude. Well, I think it's like seventy percent guys. I actually, I got into trouble. I was in a professional environment, and I says, "You're right, guys," and I got into trouble for using gendered language. Really? And I was like, I thought, I thought guys was gender neutral, and. One of the guys laughed and they were like, he was a guy though. One of the guys laughed and he was like, not in America. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, That's why I say everyone, like, what is up, everyone? What is up, right, everyone? Anyway, intro is Ladies, too long. Gents, it is everyone too else? Long. Bzz, 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 bzz. Bzz. Oh, you sounded like Sparks bzz. from Spyro. That was really good. Ah. What you actually don't realize is that Sparks sounds like me. Right, episode five. Let's delve on in. This is not coffee, woman. It is nectar of the gods. But what we don't tell you is that we do a five-minute intro and then we have the five minutes of the Game of Thrones intro. Listen, there was actually a really nice comment that was like, I love for these intros or something along those lines. It was a positive comment about the intros, the exact wording of which you'll have to find out yourself by scrolling down in the comments and leaving your own! Leave a like on the video. Do we ever ask for likes? Is that a thing that Never. we've ever done? No. But we will ask for your subscription so that you keep coming back. You know my favourite comments that we get? What's sorry, that? Sorry, my trousers are in. I'm wearing tight trousers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Scratching your brains. <laughs> no. <laughs> my favourite ones is when someone's like, I unsubscribe. This is the voice. I unsubscribe and YouTube still shows me their videos. What the fuck, YouTube? <laughs> like, it's my fault. My voice is offensive at so many levels. <laughs> it's a like Mummy Jimmy voice. <laughs> Mummy Davy, sorry. I'm a kind person. 
You're taking my headphone. Well, well. Get your phone out of your pocket, because I swear to God, I swear to God, if this goes off. Oh, I know. I've been getting phone calls left, right, and center. If it goes there. off, right, it's getting thrown over here. Uh. <laughs> Jimmy's. I unsubscribed. I unsubscribed, and I keep getting these videos of my recommended. I'm unsubscribing. Are uh, you and the other fucking however many hundred people a day? I dyed my hair as well, guys. Do you like it? Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's coming. I killed mine. It'll be back. They'll know when we've got married because your blonde hair will be back. What? You said I'm so fickle that I, I need the blonde hair. Lord, cast your light upon us. Lord of light, defend us. Oh, Ari. Oh, yeah, the fight. Yeah, well, Ari. Ari's going to fight the hound. Lord of light. Sing a song. Of or yes, thank you. Jesus Christ. Respect your Lord of Light, woman. You make it act like I know exactly when they're gonna say cool quotes. It says the night is dark. Congratulations. Listen, I'm going That's to throw you. It works with the sun. I'm going to throw you in that river and see if you sink. You're a witch. Now you're telling them that we live near a river. No wait, if you float, you're a witch. If you float, you're a witch. If you sink, you're not a witch. You drown. That was pretty cool, did you see that? He That's cuts. how I imagine they do it in Elden Ring. Well, they do, cut his hand and let him like the sword. There's not much space in here, what a fight. I thought they'd at least take it outside. I'd be complaining. I'd be asking for management. Mm. Excuse me, there's no Stern more. letter! Can't even swing a cat in here, never mind a sword! I don't like where Ari's standing, she's kind of in the way. Well, calm down. She'll just fucking stab him with a pointy end. I can't imagine fighting with a flaming sword being too useful. You burn yourself as well. Can we use your hand? Oh, well done. Fuck it right in the place now! Alright, he's got armor and arm. It's not toasty. This is me playing Rise on her own. <laughs> what shit game that's been out of me. Wasn't it just wasn't good. Don't push Ari! She'll stab you! Who do you think's gonna win? Play game. Yeah. Just cause your hands on fire don't mean shit. You just destroyed that man's shield. Force of will. Oh no. Aha! You may have a flaming sword, but I've got a flaming shield. That was ready, <laughs> Drew McIntyre. <laughs> you just let go of it, mate. You don't need to chop it off. Come on, hound! Here it comes, here it comes! Oh! Holy fuck! That's why you don't set your sword on fire. Weakens the structural integrity, you see. Lord, cast your light upon this man, your servant. Bring him back from death and darkness. I don't think he's coming back, mate. It's not following Jesus. No! Let go of me! Let me go! It looks like the god likes me more than your butcher's boy. Burn it out! <laughs> he will. Eventually. But not today. No danger! Although probably much danger. What the fuck? This is what would happen if you worshipped me. I could bring people back to the dead for you. I need my alien juice. What the fuck is going on here? That man came back from the dead. He did come back from the dead. I didn't, I didn't, out. I didn't need you to explain it to me. I'm not stupid. Well. <laughs> Turns out it was actually Jesus. Wasn't a very fair fight then, was it? If he was always going to come back from the dead. It's not about that. I'm just saying. Which three? Castle Black. Aye, Castle Black. Everyone knows Castle Black. Which others? Red and white. How many men remain in Castle Black? A thousand. Liar. What happens to your eagle after I kill you? Does he drift away like a kite with his strings cut? Or does he just flop dead to the ground? He's no crow. Just because you want him inside you don't make him one of us. I'm not afraid of you. Well, I don't think he says that you you were. What about extreme? People need to learn how to have actual conversations. I like you, boy. But if you lie to me, I'll pull your guts out through your throat. A thousand men. Actually, it's 997 men, so he was lying. <laughs> Why aren't you 
aren't you ginger like him? You're Scottish. I've not drunk enough iron brew. Well, it seems you owe me a debt. Give it back. Well, I stole it. It's mine. You want it? Come steal it back. Oh, she's gonna end up naked. Well, she did arms. try it that one night, didn't she? She was like, get closer to me. How am I supposed to sleep? It's too cold. Well, she was just wanting a way to escape. It's not really the right time, is it, though, to be getting banged? Well, you might as well. Might die tomorrow. Eager. You swore some vows. I want you to break them. I want you to see me. Might as well, mate. You won't be dead tomorrow. All of me. Oh, Jesus. Wouldn't be the first time. They're fucking in real life. Don't say it! When does she get time to she relax? <laughs> <laughs> she should have two wee ginger wookies kicking about down there. Cause she kisses like you do. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's cheap and unnecessary. <laughs> this is the part where your dad would be like, Oh, look, she fakes her orgasms like you do. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, fucking yeah. asshole. I think I would say more about me than you, to be fair. I would. <laughs> I'd be being polite to you. That's far too much to let the world know. That thing you did with your mouth. See, she like. Is that what lords do to their ladies in the south? I don't know. I just wanted to kiss you there as all. Wasn't he a virgin? Yes. Not anymore. Who was he? Just a boy. He came trading with his brothers. He had red hair like me. Kissed by fire. Kissed by fire. Much better way than saying tangle pants. God, he was built like a man. Yeah, thing. thanks. Uh, I think I've heard enough. Ah, that goes down as another one to not say after sex. What, well, start talking about your past conquests? Aye. I thought that was just a given, to be fair. Well, I mean, some people just don't know when to shop. Yeah. 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 How long's it been since you had a bath? You know, it's probably been years since I've had a bath, to be honest. I'm just really, really smelly. I'm surprised that they're letting them actually do this just now with all the shit going on outside. We're just preparing or something. I don't ever want to leave this gift, Jon Snow. It was his first time anyway, so it's probably only been about 40 seconds. American Pie style. That was a phenomenon on that show, wasn't it? Movie. It was, it was really good. Here's on that! You're nothing but thieves. We're outlaws. Outlaws steal. You're lucky we didn't kill you. Come try it, Archer. I'll shove those arrows up your ass. You can't let him go. He's a murderer. He's guilty. Not in the eyes of God. But you can't. Enough. The Lord of Fire says that he was innocent. Go in peace, Sandal again. The Lord of Light isn't done with you yet. Why do I feel like Ari eventually will have her revenge on him? She'll be the one. She's a badass. Look how concerned she is for Jamie. They give you the Kingslayer. Pick him up, Luck. Chickens. Chickens! We've lost a hand. No, my lord. Still got it. He has it here. <laughs> You're an expert on this. See. Si. Do you think there's a chance they could sew it back on? No. You haven't heard. Stannis Baratheon laid siege to King's Landing, sailed into Blackwater Bay, stormed the gates with thousands of men. Killed them all. And your sister. How can I put this? They ran a train on that bitch. Is alive and well. Oh, uh, I was hoping he's gonna lie to them. Sir Jamie isn't well. Take him to Kyburn. I thought he was going to lie to them and be like, they're all gone. They're all dead. That's what I would have done. So you uh. would have lied, would you? Uh-huh. Susie Lou said that she would have uh. lied. Oh, you fucker. Nice. The corruption has spread. I fear it must be cut away. The safest course would be to take the whole armor. <gasps> you know, Maester. Was your chain? The Citadel stripped me of it. They found some of my experiments to 
too bold. Huh. I can leave your upper arm, make the cut at your elbow. Fortune favors the bold. I can take away the rotting flesh and try and burn out the corruption with boiling wine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, some boiling wine? No milk of the puppy. There will be pain. I'll scream. Quite a bit of pain. I'll scream loudly. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, there's no way in hell they're gonna take his entire arm off. Well, he's lost a hand. What use is the rest of it? I think it's too much mentally to take the entire arm off. Go turn him into Iron Man. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Just scissoring away some of his, some of his arm. That's fucked, isn't it? Really. <laughs> yeah, it's a wee bit. Of course, Your Grace. I have reason to believe that House Tyrell do not hold the Crown's best interest at heart. Her outfit is phenomenal. I was just about to say, can I wear that on my wedding day? You have a good working relationship with the Tyrells. I thought you might look into it before you leave the capital. I shall do my best. Thank you. And your best will prove better than when I asked you to locate Arya Stark. I assure you that it will. Someone in the comment section says that they like Littlefinger because he's like a sly fox. Alright, go get laid. <laughs> <laughs> that is more like a slimy eel than a sly fox. It's the royal wedding. I told you I had a hand in planning it. Naturally. It's shaping up to be a very involved affair. The word extravagant has been used. What good is the word extravagant if it can't be used to describe a royal wedding? I True understand that. that. Good. But as master of coin, it falls upon me to calculate the cost for the crown. I think he just wants a little bit more information than just cost. We're at war, Lady Olenna. I nearly forgot. Yes, and maintaining <laughs> supply lines. I think how it slipped my mind. As is a royal wedding. The people are hungry for more than just food. They crave distractions. And if we don't provide them, they'll create their own. And their distractions are likely to end with us being torn to pieces. He understands people, but he definitely doesn't understand kingdoms. No. I was told you were drunk, impertinent, and thoroughly debauched. You can imagine my disappointment at finding nothing but a brow-beaten bookkeeper. Where did you go for them, Volantis? Come on, dude, let's see your penis! Well, I need to know all that information. Well, they said it was nothing... <laughs> splendid. Is that sufficient? Quite sufficient, thank you. Very good, then. That's settled. Good day. Give me that. May as well have some good bell movements. Well... I'm really excited for the royal wedding. I thought you were say you're really excited for bell movement. <laughs> well, depends on what day of the week, but I'm really excited for the royal wedding. <laughs> Imagine thinking it'll happen fine. <laughs> I just want to see your dress. Look, I've served men my entire life. I served Master Mott at King's Landing and he sold me to the watch. He didn't sell you to the watch. These men are brothers. They're a family. I've never had a family. I can be your family. Oh, Harry. Oh, you wouldn't be my family. You'd be my lady. Oh, shit! Oh, it's amazing. Don't leave him, Harry. She's got her own shit going on, okay? He's got I to... I know, but love, He's babe. got to smith some blacks. I know, but love. What do you mean love? Well, not that way. No, I don't. Love doesn't always have to be sexual. Tell that, Jamie. Is this a rescue? Does it look like a rescue? <laughs> oh. Have them. Bring them in. That's murder. Murder. Do you know what? Murder is not even a good <clears throat> word for it. It's just fucking disgusting. Yeah, is that look. all of them? It took five of you to murder two unarmed squires. Not murder, your grace. Vengeance. Vengeance. Yeah, that, that smells like murder. Against two little boys. Look at them. Tell your mother to look at them. She killed them as much as I. My mother had nothing to do with this. She better not have anyway, because otherwise I'll kill her. In war. You kill your enemies. Did your father not teach her that boy? Oh. Leave him. 
Oh, he deserved that one. I'd kill him for that. I would, fucker. Leave me to the king. He wants to give me a scolding before he sets me free. That's how he deals with treason. No, I don't think so. Escort Lord Karstark to the dungeon. Hang the rest. Mercy, sire! I didn't kill anyone! I only watched for the guards! This one was only the Watcher. Hang him last so he can watch the others die. Please, they made me do it! They made me! Every man has a choice. She's in the wrong place, isn't she? I don't feel like she's tough enough for this world. They were Tywin Lannister's nephews. The Lannisters pay their debts. They never stopped talking about Would it. Would you make me a liar as well as a murderer? Wouldn't be lying. We will bury them and remain silent till the war is done. I'm not fighting for justice if I don't serve justice to murderers in my ranks, no matter how highborn. Good man. He has to die. The cast dogs are Northmen. Don't okay. care. You tended to their wounds. You brought them supper. Now they're dead. And more boys will keep dying until this war is over. You need Karstark men to end it. Spare his life. Keep him as a hostage. A hostage? Mm -hmm. What? And what about all the rest of them, though? Well, they're dead. But why do they have to die and the lead doesn't? Because that's how these things work, okay? Well, it's Powerful not, people like, get away with shit. He's the one that killed them, and you say all oh, the rest of them had a choice. Well, they didn't. I'd, I'd still chop his head off. Because he okay. was going to do... Let's, you know, let's be honest. I'm on the side of chopping his head off. I wouldn't have killed the ones with him. Oh, no, I would have. I'd kill them all. I wouldn't have. I fought Joffrey for you. We and he's still alive. Stark and Car Stark. That didn't stop you from betraying me. And it won't save you now. I don't know what it to save me. I wanted to hold you to the end of your days. Don't forget that next Kneel, episode. my lord. You killed two little boys. Innocent boys. Would you speak a final word? Fuck you! Kill me and be cursed. You are no king of mine. Okay. <laughs> thought he was just going to kick his head. That's what I actually thought. I was waiting for a big boot. Well, he can be a prisoner in hell. How about that? Just a different kind of prison. I'm a hostage. And you're telling me. Don't think of it that way. But it is that way. It is. And it isn't. More is than isn't. <laughs> well, they're looking after Beric you. Beric admired your father a great deal, you know. He wanted to refuse your ransom altogether. So why don't you? We need the gold. And the amount of money that they want is a pittance. Do I frighten you, child? No. He looked really disappointed with that, like, huh. For fuck's sake. Well, I hoped I did. Then, I was stabbed in the belly. Then it was an arrow in the back, and that axe in the side. Then the Lannisters caught me and executed me for treason. He's also been hung. Was it a hanging or a dagger in the eye? Both. Fuckers couldn't decide. <laughs> and the hell makes six. Well, then he should have a massive scar all the way down his middle, but he doesn't for that one. What do you mean? Well, then you get him, like, pajum, straight no, down the middle. No, right there on his chest. Ah. On his uh, shoulder. Could you bring back a man without a head? Oh. Not six times. Just once. I don't think it works that way, child. He was a good man. Ned Stark. He's at rest now. That just caught me straight in the feels, that one did. You're alive. Lord, cast your light upon me. I would do anything for Ned to just come back into the show. <laughs> for me, it's not felt the same without him. Even with amazing storylines going on. He was my fave. For the night is dark. And fill the terrace! That's Cat Catelyn's sister, is it? I haven't seen her in so long. I oh, know. All I remember is the... The, <laughs> the sun. <laughs> Lady. Let's come sooner. The battle... I know went. of your troubles, my king. The Lady Melisandre has told me everything. Yes, of course. May just be another fire witch. You are the one god's champion. 
And the finest man I've ever known. Silly's. I've broken a sacred vow. Uh oh. What have you done? The Red Woman. The Lady Melisandre. I know, Stannis. The Lady Melisandre has told me everything. No act done in service of the Lord of Light can ever be a sin. What? When she told me. She's like the Oracle from the Matrix. <laughs> I'm assuming that's Stannis' missus. What, her? Aye. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck! Oh, I still my sweet boys. Peter. <gasps> so I guess can't tell her, like, I've had a baby with someone else and she's like, it's fine. She's like the best wife ever. I mean, the baby was she like... She gave you a son. I gave you... A baby in a tube. <laughs> Formaldehyde. <laughs> I want to see her. You are a king. You don't need my permission. How is she baby in tubing? What do you mean? How is she doing that? Because I'm assuming that they've been stillborn or something like that. And she's just chucked them, in a, chucked them in a wee jar. That's a shame. Pickled them. I thought she had like created them, you know, no, no. with jelly or something. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. Get copyright. Father! <clears throat> I thought she was gonna shout, fuck her. Fuck her! <laughs> you, you fucker! You've been shagging! What the hell? You've grown since I last saw you. Mother said you fought in a battle. Shaft dragon. I was actually gonna say it looks like a dragon scale on her. I think it's burned. Did the onion knight come back with you? Hmm. He did. He fought bravely. He hasn't come to visit me. Oh. He said he'd bring me back a present from the capital. He won't be visiting, child. The Why not? Sunk. He's my friend. Look. He was like one of my favourite characters. Yeah. Deserved better. Yeah. He's still alive, though. I know, but we won't see him for ages. Sir Davos is a traitor. He's rotting in a dungeon cell for his crime. How can you say that with a straight face? Like, he didn't do anything. I don't get it. You were just pissed you lost the war. I feel like I've just memory hold what happened to... He fell out with the redhead lady. Oh. Oh, he told... Uh, he told them not to take her yeah. with them. Uh, yeah. And he was like, lock him up. That's right. Now get out. I swear to God, if we get a sex scene between these two, I'm walking out. I'm what? walking out. So unlikely. <laughs> but you never know. There's another pub. This one suits me fine. For fuck's sake, Jamie. <laughs> the last woman his dick saw was his sister. Just remember that before you get horny. Don't you know, I might have another. Don't worry. Oh. I'm not interested. <sighs> Not interested in why'd you jump in her tub? You swore a solemn vow, remember? You're supposed to get me to King's Landing in one piece. Not going so well, is it? Let's see, how about two pieces? You want to Renly die with you guarding. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. That was unworthy, forgive me. You protected me better than most. Don't you mock me? I'm apologizing. You kinda sound sincere with it. Fighting. Yeah. It's call a truce. You need trust to have a truce. I trust you. Wow. I would trust her. I trust her too. Dead ass. Dead ass though. She's got a rocking body. I've seen her for 17 years and face after face. You all despise me. Kingslayer. Oathbreaker. Man without honor. Man without hand. <laughs> <laughs> there are some traitors everywhere. So he had his pyromancer place caches of wildfire all over the city. For fuck's sake. I told the Mad King as much. I urged him to surrender peacefully. But the King didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to Varys who tried to warn him. But he did listen to Grand Maester 
I sell every uh, sunken cunt. That's terrifying. Tell me if your precious Randy commanded you to kill your own father and stand by while thousands of men, women, and children burned alive. Would you have done it? Would you have kept your oath then? Nah, would she how? Uh, nobody stops to ask why. That's not their job. You meant to find with the rest of us and rise again. Reborn as a dragon turn his enemies to ash. He slit his throat to make sure that didn't happen. There's a reason he called them the Mad King. If this is true, why didn't you tell anyone? Why didn't you tell Lord Stark? Stark? You think the Honourable Ned Stark wanted to hear my side? Well, that's said like nobody would listen to a Lannister. By what right does the boss judge the lion? By what right? The King's Lair! Oh. Jamie. My name's Jamie. Oh, if okay. I could have like a moment where I like stood up with like a scene, it'd be that one and I would just be like, <laughs> just, like <laughs> so good. I feel like I didn't say anything for like two minutes there because I was just like, oh my god. Like what a moment. Go back to your room. You're not supposed to be here. If your father you knew you're a traitor. Are you? I a little bit. I disobeyed my king, your father, and now I'm paying the price. Well, I was completely wrong. We won't see him again for a long time. Oh, no. You can hide the book under your cloak. It's a good one. I'll bring you more. Thank you, my lady. I'm sure it's a fine book. But it's wasted on me. Take it. I have more. Fucking trooper. My lady, I can't read the words. Look at pictures. I'll teach you. I'll come when Bert's on duty and no, teach you. No, it's no, easy. No. It's like, get out of here before you get in so much freaking trouble. What would they do? Lock us in cells. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a point. I wouldn't know where to start. At the beginning, this word is Egon. And you see A, E and G. Destroyed by facts and logic, so. <laughs> I just can't believe that he's locked him up. He's like so delusional. Once he gets the pussy... Gets delusional. That's what you do, man. You've got a traitor, you know? I mean, that was up. his right hand man. He's not a fucking traitor. Jamie could do a right hand man. Robin would have laughed. He's a good man. Great warrior. And a terrible king. I was going to say, a shitty king. He swore an oath. Yes. The man of honor keeps his vows. Even if he's serving a drunk or a lunatic. Because once in my life, the war is over. I want to know what it's like to serve with pride. To fight for someone I believe in. Well, she's right over there. Look, right there. Although most of the time I'm sitting here going, I don't like her. <laughs> she just freed all those slaves. I know. She just scares me, though, with her bad bitch energy. Twelve year old. Scrosso Jeffy Brosa. Torco Nudo. Torco Nudo. All unsolid boys are given new names when they are cut. Grey worm, red flea, black rat. Names that remind them what they are. Oh no, get that changed. Yuck. Are you happy with that name? Torco Nudo or Caspesi. Same brogi beri. Si brogi es peso sen estas kim broto. Quinile si brogi melezesco mazedas terari fa bustar. I torco nudo sa si brogi es bezi egitovi. Deneris germasmo. Si teptas si derfe. I feel like she just wants to hug everyone, but she's like, no, I can't. My queen. Queen vibes. I stole her hair and everything. I didn't sit on the small council. No? Doesn't the Lord Commander of the King's Guard traditionally? Traditionally, yes, but I killed a dozen of Robert's friends during his rebellion. 
He didn't want advice on how to govern from a man who fought for the Mad King. Hmm, it was Ned who was trying to save Daenerys. We both wanted to rule. Am I wrong? You only joined us a few days ago. I can't speak to your intentions. If we are truly her loyal servants, we will do whatever needs to be done. No matter the cost, no matter our pride. You're not Lord Commander here. Hey, it's basically asking him to step down because mm. of your reputation. It's like, ew. Right. What's your intentions here? I don't think that Daenerys really cares about her reputation when she gets over to the Iron Islands. No, because she knows that everyone's going to hate it anyway. Yeah. I don't even know where Winterfell is. <laughs> And we're here, King's Landing. That's a weird way to show someone a map, sir. I'm not asking you for directions. <laughs> here you and here, and if you go that way. I like his jacket. I can't force them to meet us in the field. And I can't attack them where they're strongest. But I can attack them where they're not. How did he get the Jumanji pieces? I need men to replace the cast outs who marched home. There is only one person in this kingdom with that kind of army who hasn't already sided with the Lannisters. <laughs> the man whose daughter I was supposed to marry. Oh, fuck. Alder Frey. Oh, fuck. Wait, and you think that's gonna go well? Oh, no. When you married someone else? Oh, that's not a good idea. That's dumb. Joffrey won't let me leave. He's got too many reasons to keep me here. And only one to let you go. Because it will please me. Squire? Squire? I want Squire. Well thought, sir. Wait, she's setting him up with a gay guy? Yes. I was wondering who it was. <sighs> well, that's not exactly fair, is it? Thanks very much, future queen. Just got to get married, okay? I, I know, but it. like... I was going to say something, but we're not even going to get into it. How do you know? I what? <laughs> Why do I feel like Sansa's gonna find he's gay? Everyone across the Seven Kingdoms knows that you're a bummer. You have a good deal of experience, do you? With the husbands? <laughs> Imagine acting that if you were straight. I was just about to say, how do we know these things? I was gonna be like, you'd have to be such a good actor Seems to not be bothered by that. Who's he? And who is the lucky girl? What uh, tit? I've hated him since day one. Can't stand him. It's quotes of quality though. <laughs> I have good news. I'll be leaving the city soon. You still want me to come with you? It's not a question of what I want. It's what you want. It's two feather beds, mate. You want to go home, don't you? Of course, more than anything. But maybe it would be better to wait. I've been thinking how dangerous it would be. Not just for me, but for you. You've been so kind, I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. Come on, you gotta press on this girl. Press on it. I feel it should be face uh, safer with Littlefinger than Marjorie, though. If you wish to stay, then of course, we'll stay. We'll speak again when I return. I actually don't think that he would want to marry her. No. I think it is more for... Caitlin. 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 It doesn't make any sense. I've seen no sexual chemistry. Nothing between those two. Well, everyone thinks that he only wants power. But I think that his love for Cat is stronger than his love for power. Yeah, I agree. Your sister has learned that your new friends, the Tyrells, are plotting to marry Sansa Stark to Sir Loras. Very well. She's a lovely girl. Missing some of Loras' favourite bits, but I'm sure they'll make do. <laughs> Sansa is the key to the north. I seem to remember she has an older brother. The Car Starks have marched home. The young wolf has lost half his army. His days are numbered. Theon Greyjoy murdered both his brothers. That makes Sansa Stark the heir to Winterfell. That's what you think. And the Tyrells won't carry this one out until after Joffrey's wedding. We need to act first and kill this union in its crib. And how do we do that? We find Sansa Stark a different husband. Wonderful. Oh, yes, God. It is. 
Oh, God. Not Tyrion. It's going to be Tyrion. Shut up! Yes. This isn't happening. <laughs> the girl's happiness is not my concern, nor should it be yours. She's a child. She's flowered, I assure you. She and I have discussed it at length. Oh, uh, see? Fuck off, Cersei bitch. And if I refuse, you wanted to be rewarded for your valor in battle. Sansa Stark I mean, is a finer reward than you could ever dare hope for. Well, that is true. And it is past time you were wed. I was wed. Or don't you remember? Oh. Only too well. You should be thanking the gods for this. This is more than you deserve. Shut the fuck up, Cersei. I hate her! What do you mean? You'll marry Sir Loras. Ah, oh, bitch! No, I won't do it. Yes, you will. You're still fertile. You need to marry again and breed. I am Queen Regent, not some brood man. You're my daughter! Do your fuck, old bitch! Oh You're my savage! Oh, that and is you savage. Will marry Loras Tyrell. And put an end to the disgusting rumors about you once and for all. Father, don't make me do it again, please. Not another word. Fucking do it. What are you good for? You disgraced the Lannister name for far too long. Do something right for once. So how does that one feel then, huh? Thinking you're getting one up over Tyrion. Yeah. I think you got the worst fucking deal there, didn't you? Yeah, bitch. Bleed for me. And the audio is back. Silly. <laughs> <laughs> why why was that stopped? <laughs> because the mouse was literally like there yeah, and you, you stopped it. Bar, you must have clicked on that. Probably. <sighs> wow, holy shit. So that means that Cersei's to get married to the gay guy. Yeah. Uh, but will that, will that be the thing that happens? Uh, <laughs> so. I feel like the dude that's getting that's getting tortured... I always forget his name now. The Star Trek guy. Star Trek? Was he not in Star Trek? Oh. I don't know. I don't I've seen so. it I've seen him somewhere before. I thought he was in Star Trek. I don't think so. I don't know. Nobody cares what you think. Theon. Theon. Oh, my knee, I feel like Theon's just like bamboozled like most of the fucking planet at this point. He was like, Yes, I killed the boys. It was like everyone's just like, Yes, he must have done. Yes. Yeah, just keep him away. That's crazy. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing Cersei get fucked. Wait, not in that respect. She's not one of the first episodes. But like going from being like queen, and then Robert dies, and then she thinks that it's fine because it's Joffrey, so it's all good. And now she literally has I will to be marry. The I'll be the queen mother, and everything will be fine. And, and now she like, has nope. to marry someone that is like, in her eyes, is like nothing more than a peasant. Mm. You know, it's like, oh, bitch. I feel bad for Tyrion, though, because, I mean, Tyrion already has a lady. Yeah, he's got we she. Just, we just don't know about it. But um, do we know much about his first marriage? Uh, just that his dad ended up getting her killed. Lovely. Having a, her having a killed. Oh, well, that's very nice. His dad didn't approve. Fuck him. It's not very nice. So, so yeah, lots of storylines again. I'm totally digging Jamie. And what's her name? Brienne of Toth. I think she's great. And I actually think that their relationship growing the way it is, is so fun to watch. To watch him go from being like the hard man, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then her being like, sit down, peasant. To like both of them, like letting their walls down and just like being there. He saved her. That Les is a fucking married at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> But it might be for those two. You oh, yeah. never know. You never know. I always feel like we have so much energy at the start of these videos and then like one hour, ten minutes later and we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's because it gets into the deep shiz like towards the middle and then you just get a blast at the end. At the end, yeah, it's always the same. And then in the beginning it's always like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's fine because that's when the most people watch it is at the start and at the end. Yeah, so if we say yeah. nothing in the middle. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> You're a pongy. No, I'm not. Fuck You're you. <laughs> You're a pongy. Your head's too close to your arse. No, it's pongy. No, I think it's you. I think you smell a shite. Oh, I think it's me! <laughs> sniff me! Is no, it me? Sniff me! No, this is people's fanfic. Probably. 
We all love our Reddit anyways. So consistency is lasting. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this arc because I feel arc <laughs> this season because I can kind of see that some absolutely horrible things are going to go down. All the intrigue. Like I knew that in the first season something terrible was going to happen with like between Ned and the Lannisters. Mm. The second season, it, it's kind of a blur actually. Second season was all about the dragons. Aye. The dragons. And then this oh, was one... that the first season? No, the first season ended with the dragons and mm. the second season had a bit more about them. And then this one is just like an explosion of everything just all coming together. And I, I hate that you discuss one thing and then it cuts the scene and then you're like, mother fuck! Well, it says that. Like, Game of Thrones is totally like, you get into that storyline you're like oh 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 it's like it it edges you and then it cuts to Daenerys and you're like no not very much has been happening she got the slaves and that's about all that's happened in the last like four episodes or something I know but all all we ever see from her is her intelligence though which I think is scary in itself it's compassion she's got compassion which is more than I can say for most of them yeah I'd love to see her and Cersei go at it (laughs) Her and Rob are my favourites just now. I Not like for being Cersei. interesting characters, like they're they're my favourites for ruling the place. I, I like Tyrion, and yeah, I what storylines are your favourite? I don't now? know. Like it's not that I have favourite storylines; it's that I have people I hate so much that I want to see them hurt. Oh, right. <laughs> so that's how I'm kind of watching the show. Is like I'm waiting for the bad things to happen so that I can be like, yeah. I think Arya is my favourite storyline at the moment. Yeah, I, I really like that. Every time Arya. I see anything to do with her, I'm like, oh, what's he, like? What's happening next? Or what's happening next? Yeah, I don't have a favourite just no? now. I'm just waiting for the wedding so that oh. I can see some dresses and <laughs> la la la. It's going to be beautiful, nice wedding, take some inspiration. Someone's got to blow the place up, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking better not. Well, our wedding. No. Oh. Thank God. I don't know. That's why I haven't told anyone where it is. <laughs> no, I can imagine this royal wedding at King's Landing is not going to go to plan. But it might though. Might and it be. might just be fine. And then it's like the aftermath of the wedding is what the the problem is. But yeah. Who knows? I'm going to go have a burger. Thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out with us with more Game of Thrones. We'll be back with episode six soon. Because we're being actually consistent. Soon. Yeah, because yeah. we're actually Good being on. consistent. So thank you so much. It will not be 2023 for the finale of season three. You are wrong. I'll make sure you're wrong. 